you have been watching the new season of Tiger King. I have, yes. We were all locked down when the first season arrived, kind of just looking for something to take our mind off it. And Netflix gave us that. It was this captivating series about eccentric characters and tigers and murder. And it was kind of exactly what we needed in that point. 18 months later, we've got Tiger King season two. Series two doesn't really give the same intrigue or the same wow factor as the first one did. For the few people who haven't seen uh, Tiger King season one, it was an eight part documentary on Netflix that followed Joe Exotic, a country musician turned Tiger Park owner. And the saga of this battle against Carol Baskin, an animal rights activist. Filmmakers Eric Good and Rebecca Chaiklin set out to make a feature film when they discovered this kind of crazy story. And it made a lot of sense to turn it into an eight part documentary just because there was so much material to pour over and all these characters that you wanted to include. But now with season two, it just feels like they're milking a cash cow for all it's worth. But if you were hoping for another kind of round two showdown between Joe and Carol, you're not gonna get it, namely because Joe Exotic is in jail serving a 22 year prison sentence. We have a prepaid call from Joe Exotic. There's an innocent man in prison. He does appear in every single episode of season two, although it's always grainy interview footage that's taken of him in prison. Meanwhile, Carol Baskin does feature, but it's always through archival footage. And actually she is in the process of suing Netflix for using that footage of her. I think the worst part about season two is that it does feel like it's treading a lot of the ground that we've already covered in season one. Tiger King 2, is it binge or a bin? It's a bin. What's the nature of the dispute between you and Mr. Love? Adios, Joe. They personally.